and we're behind the scenes again at the Industrial History Center. A few days ago, a lot of changes. If you were in the mill yard, you saw all the equipment pulling down all the trees and making a lot of progress here. We have Sam Waterhouse here. He's the foreman on the project from Rye Beach Landscaping. And on this beautiful rainy day, um, you're, you're you're working in a big hole behind us, right? Can you talk a little bit about what's going on, Sam? Yeah, so um, right now we're sort of in the beginning phases of our landscape plan where we're just trying to install drainage and take care of any water issues before we get to our hardscaping patios and walls and things like that. Um, so that's sort of the reason for all this uh, destruction that you're seeing behind <laughs> me. Um, just trying to take care of our site work before we move into our landscape plan. And taking advantage of the warm weather to do stuff like this, right? Exactly. Even yeah. though it is raining yep. today, right? Yep. Now we're very lucky uh, so far with the, the temperature and other than today, it's uh, it's been relatively dry. So, so far so good. So, you, we have this big piece of equipment behind us and there's um, this big drain, like concrete drainage piece that's actually going in that hole that will help keep all the water out of the plaza. Is, is that correct? Yeah, generally, yep. Um, so what we're doing is installing a catch basin there um, to catch water that will come off of uh, a slope that we're going to establish over there. we will catch that water and then we're also going to install an underground chamber system to catch water from gutters that will be around a, uh, a canopy that's going to be built here. So just basically trying to contain all the water from this area and leach it into the ground before it gets into the plaza. Can you share any other like future plans in terms of like the landscaping and what this will eventually look like when, yeah. when we open next April? Yeah, so um, where we're standing right now, the existing grade is actually going to come up quite a bit to uh, basically even with the uh, the floor there. This is all going to be patio area. Um, there will be a granite retaining wall there, another retaining wall in the back corner there, um, and walkways in the front going out to the walkway there, and then another walkway that's going to kind of curve out and up the hill there. So this is going to look pretty amazing. I mean, we do actually on our website, industrialhistorycenter.org, we have the artist rendition of the inside and the outside. So that's kind of what you're going by, right? Yep, yep. And the design plans and the engineering plans and all that, it's, uh, it's been very well uh, thought out ahead of time. So. Well, Sam, I know we're interrupting you. Just a couple of minutes ago, you were actually down in that hole doing some work. So we're going to let you get back to uh, your job here. Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you so much on behalf of um, all of our membership at the museum. We're so excited about this. And yeah, we are too. Thanks, Sam. I, I know you have to get back to work. You know, before we leave, so much has happened in just a few short days here at the Industrial History Center. We've got to go take a look. I hope you'll join me. Before we leave, there has been so much progress here inside. We just couldn't we just couldn't end this show without showing you what's going on. The last time the walls were open, the electrical stuff was showing in the insulation, and now look at these beautiful walls. You can really see the museum taking taking shape. I mean, this is this is truly unbelievable. Um, we've got all this pile, uh, all these piles everywhere, but this is progress. You know, we need your help to continue the progress here at the Industrial History Center. The website is industrialhistorycenter.org slash give. Any amount, if you can help us get to our goal by the end of the year, we would most appreciate it. Again, the website, industrialhistorycenter.org. You can see a bunch of information about the new center, and if you go to our YouTube channel, you can watch more of these behind the scenes. I'm Meryl Goldsmith. Thanks for watching.